So if you have that passage of scripture, Ephesians chapter 3, um, verses um, 20 to 21, and I will be reading from the authorized King James Version translation. <laughs> and you find these words, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end amen amen you may claim your seats in the presence of our most holy God amen and amen young people young people for this short time I'd like to speak from the topic stand back and stand by and wait on the glory of the Lord amen stand back and stand by and wait on the glory of the Lord and I see a lot of y'all uh, laughing right now but I did get approval from my pastor amen to use this topic but young people y'all smile at me y'all smile at me young people it's so much that's going on today and we all will agree um, these past six to nine months we've been all been glued to the television screen and social media and outlets and, and a lot of these things and sometimes there are some statements made um, that will confuse you there are some statements made um, by pro athletes um, statements made by celebrities statements made um, just wherever you watching and what I try to do as a child of God is when I find myself discouraged when I find myself confused I made it a practice to go to the Word of God to get some answers and even if I hear something so outrageous I still go to the Word of God and see what my response should be on what I heard. So when we look at this passage of scripture, young people, and we look at Ephesians uh, chapter three, verses 20 to 21, one thing that really stands out, if we're gonna talk about stand back and stand by, let me cover that first. When we look at verse 20, it reads, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. So the first thing, the reason as a child of God we ought to stand back and stand by is because he is the mighty one. Amen. He is the mighty one. We see this in this passage of scripture because he is the one who is able. This able here, young people, is the one who can do the impossible. And, and we know he can do the impossible because we read in Ephesians chapter 2 that we were dead in our sins and trespasses. We were lost young people. Um, but God, who was rich in his mercy, he did something for us. He did something, young people, for us that we could not do for ourselves. We can't save ourselves on, the, on our best day. And so he's the mighty one. But here in this verse, he says, now unto him that is able. So he is the mighty one. He has power and ability. Not only does he have power and ability, his power is above all. Young people, can y'all say that? His power is above all. And, and we see that, we see that in the text, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly. And y'all see that? In the King James, it reads exceeding and abundantly. And actually those are uh, uh, two of the same words, but they're, they're used differently. But above all that we ask or think. So when we are in a state of confusion, and when we are in a state, I don't care how horrendous the statement or what is said, we are, and we become in a, 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 a feeling of disbelief, we have somebody who was able. We have someone who can lift us up and rise us up. His power is above all. We, we have to understand that. Isn't it the one young people, the same person who said, let there be light? Bang, there go your big bang right there, right? Y'all say, y'all smile at me, right? This, this is the mighty one. This is the one who put the bark in the dog and a meow in a cat, right? Young people, y'all talk to me this morning. So he is the mighty one. Not only is he the mighty one, his power is matchless, amen? 
his power is matchless. And, and young people, what I mean by that is, is as we look at this verse, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according, here it is young people, to the power that worketh in us. Amen. I, I like this. His power is matchless. It's matchless. You know, um, we can do a lot of things. Uh, we can we can send a space shuttle into space. Um, we can we can create an airplane, um, the automobile. I'm, I'm fascinated about about the automobile, but we cannot create something out of nothing. Amen. Don't your Bible read in the beginning? God created the heavens and earth. His power is matchless. When we consider God's creation, he created something young people out of nothing. And so it's matchless. And just like it, it with us, I know we think highly of ourselves and we should as some, we should have, be proud. We should be, uh, have, be, be happy about the family we come from and, and all these things and, and the schools we go to. All that stuff is nice, young people. But the truth be told, it was nothing in us for God to choose us. Amen. It, 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 it was what was special about us. Other than we're created in the image of man, we're creating God's image. But God just didn't look at us and say, oh, oh I'm, I'm going to save Reverend Elsie because he's a nice guy. Because he couldn't look past Reverend Elsie's sin. Amen. And before y'all look at me crazy, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So it's just not the person to your left. Or to your right is that person who's sitting in your seat y'all smile at me so his power is matchless and and dr brown I, I i believe this in the text because when it talks about according to the power that worketh in us now it's something in us as believers it, it's something of substance it's something that that we have something as believers um that is of the same essence of God. Young people, this, that means the same quality, right? And so he energizes us as believers through the spirit of God. But here it is, young people. What's important to, about this is if you have not placed your faith in our saving Lord Jesus Christ, you're not energized. You, 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 don't, you do not have what it takes. You you, matter of fact, I even argue you don't even have the ability to do what's pleasing in the sight of the most holy God. You could take your best work, you could take mama's them best work, your daddy's best work, the whole generation of good works, and it still doesn't measure to what our saving Lord Jesus Christ done at Calvary. Amen? Y'all smile at me. So his power is matchless. Uh, we're energized young people through the Spirit, and it's only available through the Spirit of God. And finally, Reverend Graham Berry, lest I keep you too long. Amen? We see, <laughs> y'all smile at me, I'm having a good time, amen. We see in verse 21, and as it close, unto him be glory in the church of Christ Jesus. I actually like the New International reading of this. Um, I believe it's, it's the, the better reading. It says, unto him be glory in the church and Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end, amen. So not only dumb people, that when we consider the thought of stand back and stand by, we also add and wait on the glory of the Lord. And we can do that because he is the mighty one. His power is matchless. And finally, his glory is marvelous. Ah. So we see it as we consider unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages. So the first thing we see that the reason his glory is marvelous is because his grace is amazing. Woo. His grace is amazing. Young people, we know what grace is. You know, when we talk about God's glory, God is, is glorified and the church is glorified and definitely his son glorifies the father, but it's all because of God's grace, his, his grace. You know, all this take place, young people, because of faith, but the faith. In the same letter in Ephesians 2, Around verse 8, it says, it reads, and, and follow these words, it reads, For by grace that we are saved through faith and not of our, yourselves, it is a gift of God. So when we think about salvation, the whole, everything about salvation, it is, a matter of fact, in the Greek text, young people, it says the gift of God. And so his glory, his glory, unto him be glory in the church. The church 
young people, we should glorify God. And I'm closing, Pastor Brown. And his glory is marvelous and his grace is amazing and his grace is also saving. Young people, we know the story. We know what happened on that Friday. And because what happened on Friday, Jesus died. But the story does not end that young people. Um, on Sunday, Jesus was raised. And because we placed our faith in Jesus Christ, when Christ was raised, we are raised. And so this is why we can stand back and stand by and we ought to wait on the glory of the Lord. Amen and amen.